France are the reigning world champions coming into this year tournament and for me they could be the team to beat for that World Cup. Absolutely exceptional across the pitch, so much quality, so much depth in that squad. Today we're going to look at the squad, analyse strengths and weaknesses, look at their road to the final, analyse the key man in Kylian Mbappe and see how the French can win the World Cup. Let's get into it. France come into this tournament with a couple of key players injured. Paul Pogba and Golo Kante and Christopher Nkunku have all had to pull out of the side due to injuries, but they are still ridiculously stacked. France going forward have Kylian Mbappe, Kingsley Coman amongst others. That is a very, very young, very dynamic and very exciting attacking force. They have a very solid backline as well. Hugo Lloris is massively experienced in gold. Raphael Varane has won everything in football. William Saliba has been arguably the best centre back in the Premier League this season. At right back, Jonathan Klaus is absolutely sensational. Teo Hernandez, great for AC Milan as always. That midfield is the only point of concern for the French. Now with um, Pogba, Kante and Nkunku that is arguably their first choice three midfielders gone that is a big big miss for this team now they do still have a lot of quality in there as we can see Eduardo Camavinga, Aureli and Chiambini are two fantastic midfielders both at Real Madrid very young but with a lot of potential and a lot of ability now so a lot is going to be up to them their performance could dictate how France do in this World Cup of course, the French have to work as a team. Looking at the last team to win the World Cup for France, we had several players who sacrificed their own personal game for that of the team. We saw the likes of Blaise Matuidi play on the left wing, even though he was predominantly a holding midfielder. We also saw Moussa Sissoko fill in in that midfield role, covering so much distance for Paul Pogba, allowing him to push further up the pitch, freeing him of defensive duties that allowed France to function better as a team. That sort of self-sacrifice is crucial if France are going to win they need team players and they need to work as a united collective and be a proper team on the pitch whenever we talk about individuals though there is only one man who comes to mind for this French side it's Kylian Mbappe absolutely sensational for PSG this season and he is going to have a very big World Cup you can cut it up now you can clip it if you want Kylian Mbappe is going to thrive at this World Cup we see this season 20 appearances 19 gold and 5 assists he's matching Erlen Haaland in terms of gold and insists as well very very good from Kylian Mbappe he is only 23 years of age capable of playing off the left or through the middle depending on what the team needs he can also operate on the right hand side as well Kylian Mbappe is a player set to further his development at this tournament we know Mbappe is so good he is arguably one of the best players in the world right now so for me Kylian Mbappe can take that next step he can win the World Cup again if Kylian Mbappe comes back to PSG in January with his second World Cup he will have to be considered for next year's Ballon d'Or on current form. If France win it'll be largely because of this man and as well Karim Benzema as well. Their connection and their work rate on the pitch together will be absolutely vital for that French side. Stats wise of course Mbappe is absolutely electric, look at some of the stats just highlighted here, 2.3 dribbles completed per match, he is beating nearly 3 men on a dribble per match which is absolutely exceptional, that is on um, individual dribbles as well, of course key passes a little bit lower but he is still playing 1.6 key passes per game so there is a creative element to Mbappe's game that is definitely underrated in my opinion, he is a player who loves to get shots off, we can see that there with his stats, 3.8 shots per game is absolutely fantastic for a striker he is getting involved in the play he is beating men on the dribble he is creating chances with his passes and he is getting a lot of shots off and he's scoring a lot of goals Kylian Mbappe for me could be player of the tournament bookmark that right now I cut it up if you want I think Mbappe could be the guy so make no mistake about it this man right here is electric and he will light up Qatar so looking at France's route to success in this tournament we look at the group first of all they should have a relatively straight run now Denmark are a formidable opposition very very good players playing for Denmark Christian Eriksen especially but that's my, my United bias showing once again but Eriksen is fantastic that Danish team is very solid they're always very good at tournaments we've seen them last season at the Euros they give England a hell of a match in the semi-finals of that tournament and Denmark will be a side to be reckoned with for me it'll be between them and France as to who tops the group I believe France have a lot more quality so it just depends if France can get the result on the day 
looking at the other teams in this group Tunisia I would expect France to comfortably beat as will Australia I think you know both those teams have done very well to get to the World Cup Tunisia especially a couple of very tidy players uh, Hannibal Mesbury definitely one to watch out for but for me those will be very good opportunities for the French to rotate their team there is an element of injury prone um, concerns that they do have for many players Raphael Varane especially his form will be key for France so if they can rotate and rest Varane against Australia or against Tunisia they'll definitely be good um, for the latter stages of the tournament for me they definitely will have the opportunity as well they have so much depth at centre back they could easily put in Luca Hernandez William Saliba Deo Upmecano give Varane the day off let him rest and recover and managing that squad managing those older experienced players will be key for France if they can do that I absolutely think they could win this tournament. So when looking at the World Cup, for me there are three teams who are head and shoulders above the rest. For me those are Argentina, Brazil and France. Personally, I think we will see the World Cup go to one of those countries this year. For me, the French are the team to beat. It all depends really upon one thing, and that is French unity. If they work as a team and they put aside a lot of their ego, they will win the World Cup, in my opinion. I think they just have such a great squad. It's just so balanced. It's so, so much quality in that team. When we look at Argentina, who I think could be the runners-up potentially, we're looking at a team where land on Lionel Messi, uh, Angel de Maria, a lot of older players for creative um, purposes in that front line who will have a lot of running to do a lot of chance creation in the desert heat that it's going to be very very difficult France have greater depth and they have younger players so that works twofold in their favour for me I think there is better than Brazil as well Brazil very very poor fullbacks when we're looking at Dani Alves at 39 Danilo not good at uh, Juventus Alexandro not good at Juventus Alex Tella is not good enough at Man United and um, certainly for me the French have a stronger all-round squad with more quality than the Brazilians I think it is France's World Cup to lose that might come back to haunt me but I do believe France will be winning the World Cup this year if they work as a team and if they do put their differences aside and work as a collective unit on the pitch. Yes guys, so that pretty much is your preview for the French national team going into this tournament. Let me know in the comments what you think. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for all your World Cup content. We will have daily previews, daily reviews, scouting reports on all the teams, all the players. So stick around for much, much more content coming up. Thank you very much for watching guys. I will see you in the next video tomorrow. A couple of shorts posted today as well if you want to check them out after this. Don't forget to get them a wee like as well. Thank you very much for watching guys. I'll see you in the next one.